If you've watched my other videos, you've seen where all these symbols of the Illuminati have come from. I will include a link at the end of this video that shows you exactly where all these symbols come from. It isn't often that you ever see a Talmudic rabbi in the news, and for good reason. Rabbis are the clergy never questioned in our media, and are held up as pillars of virtue, even though they have run drugs and harvested and sold organs on the black market. This is never brought up in mainstream media. Why? Many people have made videos showing that LeBron James is Illuminati. A news article just surfaced that shows exactly what the primary spiritual foundation of the Illuminati, which should rather be called the Kabbalah hierarchy, based on Babylonian teachings. I show in videos like my Torah video exactly why the Babylonian Talmud is called the Babylonian Talmud, right from the Bible. I will include a link to this article in the information section of this video. This is a photo of LeBron James in a business meeting with Rabbi Yeshayahu Yosef Pinto, a man known around New York as the rabbi to the business stars. Sources involved with the meeting tell us LeBron had hired Rabbi Pinto for spiritual guidance for a big merchandising meeting that took place on a private yacht somewhere off the coast of New York. Rabbi Pinto, who speaks only Hebrew, has met with all sorts of business moguls in the past and is considered by some to be a spiritual guide who consults on business matters. Now think about this. This rabbi doesn't even speak English, and he is the spiritual advisor to LeBron James. We are told that LeBron paid in the neighborhood of six figures to get Rabbi Pinto to sit in on this meeting, in which LeBron heard presentations from several big-time retail execs. The article goes on to mention that NBA stars Shaquille O'Neal is learning Hebrew and Amare Stoudemire is meeting with rabbis in Israel. This article caught me by surprise. It is not often that the true power players of this world show their hand. And although this article doesn't mention the Kabbalah, the link to the article at TMZ does. Now other fine people have made videos showing LeBron James showing exactly where his allegiance lies. I will provide a link to these videos as well. Here we have LeBron before a game making three Kabbalah satanic hand gestures. We all know this one. It is the Baphomet horn symbol. This one is 666 and has been seen before as early as the Beatles. Now this last one is the top and bottom of the Kabbalah Sephiroth, the male and female. The male is the right side up pyramid and the female giving birth is the upside down pyramid. Together they form a diamond. Interlaced they form the star of David, which is not biblical. Here we see the tattoo on LeBron James' chest. This is claimed as the lion of the tribe of Judah, but in reality it is the beast from the Bible book of Revelation. It has the feet of a bear the body of a leopard and the mouth of a lion. This is a piece of Israeli jewelry that I found online, and it shows the beast making the three sixes hand symbols, if there was any doubt. Here we are looking at the Star of David, with the beast in the middle, right where that rests around the Star of David in the Kabbalah Sephiroth. Finally, we have the beast in the British Royal Family Court of Coat of Arms. As you can see, this is not the only thing in the Coat of Arms which mocks the Bible or shows where the Royal Family's allegiance lies. The Stuarts falsely claim Jewish blood and to be of the bloodline of David, which would make Princess Diana and her children heirs to King David. In this memorial of Princess Diana, you can see her and her boyfriend, 
forming the Kabbalah Sephirot with their hands. In this other memorial, you see the Illuminati Pyramid, where time has run out in an hourglass. And you have an empty glass, the Holy Grail, facing the viewer. Here we have the coronation chair, where the next British monarch will be crowned. You have the beast from Revelation as the bottom of the chair, and a pyramid at the top of the chair. Back to LeBron James. Here we see LeBron's new number six. Now I am not going to get into much detail on this, but the Illuminati believe strongly in the power of numbers and numerology. So here, 1 plus 3 plus 6 equals 10, 2010, which is when these players sign together. It also means 1 times 3, which would be 3, times 6 equals 18. 18 is 6 plus 6 plus 6. They seem to like the number 18 for this reason. Here we see Shaquille O'Neal's new Celtics jersey, 36. 3 times 6 is 18. Again, we have 6 plus 6 plus 6. How about Kobe Bryant? Here we see him making the three sixes hand sign, and of course his jersey number is 24. 2 plus 4 equals 6. Here we have the lion on LeBron James' shoes. Here we see an advertisement for LeBron's shoe named the 6. What is the design in the middle shape like? The Kabbalah Sephirot with pyramid on top and bottom. Here we see LeBron James sitting on a throne with three lions, and three is important in the occult as well. If you look at his hands, he is making a pyramid with both hands, and his legs are also bent to form a pyramid. Now why is the number three important? There are three sides to a pyramid, three facets of the Trinity, and of course 33 degrees is the highest ranking of Freemasonry. 33 just happens to be the accepted age of Jesus' death as well, which is no coincidence. I am sure you have all heard the saying, things always come in threes. Now step nine in the Kabbalah Sephirot is Yasad, and it stands for foundation. 10 in the Kabbalah Sephirot is the end step, the female giving birth. It stands for kingdom or kingship. Step 10 gives birth to what they believe is godhood and step 11. 9-11-2001 was not chosen randomly. Nine years from 2001 is 2010. 11 years from 2001 is 2012. 911 simply meant foundation for godhood. Now someone turns 30 in 2012. Will, I am, Arthur, Philip, the Great, Louis, the Sun King. His family line claims the lineage of David. We were made to pity and love him when his mother was murdered. His face is the face on the Shroud of Turin, which is a forgery. The 2012 Olympics logo is Zion with a sideways N. He will begin his rule in 2012 and can take any of his given names when he is crowned. Revelation 17.8, the beast which you saw once was, now is not, and will come up out of the abyss and go to his destruction. Once was Arthur, now is not Arthur will come Arthur, 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 666. The once and future king has been revealed. Please click on the following link to see where all the symbols of the Illuminati come from. Thank you.